Make sure you have the KSL News Radio app to stream BYU games wherever you go. You can also get breaking news alerts and podcast your favorite KSL show. All on one app for KSL News Radio. Cougar Nation, one more segment, and then tomorrow we'll get ready for BYU in Kansas. You can hear it right here tomorrow night on your legacy home of the BYU Cougars, the Jayhawks, and the Cougars, and one BYU player in particular. Really looking forward to this game. I'm sure they all are, but Trevanell, here's his thoughts on playing at Kansas. Yeah, it's a dream. You know, we talk about when you're a kid to go play Kansas, to be able to go and, like, see the history and the culture they have. It's going to be really fun, and I'm just excited to see the difference between their arena and their atmosphere compared to ours because, you know, Jay Billis always says they have the best, you know, atmosphere, best student section in the country, but I still don't believe it. It's going to be an epic scene tomorrow night, BYU in Kansas, 6 p.m. tip here on KSL. Pre-game begins at 5 o'clock. The Cougs just completed their shoot-around inside Allen Fieldhouse, the traditional Monday night before a Tuesday game. Fans are uh, checking out Allen Fieldhouse, the Cougar faithful that are there in Lawrence. That should be a fun setting. And, you know, there's – I'm I'm curious to see like all the history on display at Allen Fieldhouse. I saw that arena, the outside of it, back in September, and you, hit, you just pull up to it, and it's just some rusty looking building. <laughs> it's just old, and you go, "This is Allen Fieldhouse. This is the building." Uh, but you know, it was seeing the pictures. It looks so just big and and massive, and on the outside, it's just kind of humble looking. But uh, I can't. I can only imagine. You'll just feel the. The, the history of that. We'll, I'll be inside there tomorrow. Again, I'll have updates here on KSL News Radio, kslsports.com. So check out all the coverage. Also on social media on X, Instagram, TikTok. Going to throw in a little more TikTok action coming here soon. So be on the lookout for that. But uh, I just think this is going to be a fun matchup. And I, I got to say, too, Matt, I, I almost just, you know, have to pinch myself a little bit and remind myself that BYU is in the same league with this program because. I remember just as a kid watching, you know, Big 8, Big 12 games, and I remember, you know, Jacques Vaughn, Greg Ostertag, former jazz man playing for the for Kansas, and all the great players they've had, and now BYU's in the same league as these guys. It's pretty cool, but you got to remove that feel-good, nostalgic feelings about their brand and not let that jersey give you an instant L before the game even tips. Yeah, well, luckily we don't have to do that because we're uh, we'll, we'll just be watching. It. We're not playing in it. But this is the one game. I'd even this is probably the one game left in the schedule, and even before the season began, where I don't even care what the outcome is. I am going to enjoy the moment. I want a good showing for sure from BYU, but it's going to be so cool to see them playing in Allen Fieldhouse. And as long as they don't get blown out by thirty, I think I'm going to be okay. And this does also feel like a game, Mitch, where they lose by less than eight is is that a win like does that make you feel good that you went on to one of the best and most storied programs in all of college basketball and you competed for 40 minutes and you had chances like take the Baylor loss early in the year on the road at Waco and insert that here would you feel good about a BOU performance I would because I think you know the national narrative would be like, oh wow, BYU is a lot better than we thought. Uh, they hung tough with with Kansas in Allen Fieldhouse. We know how this college media narrative stuff works. People would give BYU a lot of pats on the backs and and moral victories. Now Mark Pope and players would hear that and say, get out of here, guys. Like we don't want none of that action. We want to go in there and win the thing. Uh, but you know history shows under Bill Self, and honestly, since Roy Williams, the last 30-something years of Kansas basketball, they never lose at Allen Fieldhouse, and Bill Self, only 17 home losses since he became the head coach in 2004. This was Mark Pope on Bill Self and just the, the impact he has in the Big 12 in college basketball. Yeah, I think clearly he's been unbelievable for this league. You know, it's interesting when we're on a call and we're dealing with issues, like he's the first one to speak up and he's clearly uh, spent a ton of time thinking through the periphery issues, meaning some vague possibility with uh, rules change. And he'll come into the conversation with like, you know, with four different things that need to be considered. and. You know, he's clearly set the benchmark here. I don't know what, you know, his numbers are just, he wins every single year. 
He wins the league conference championship, right? And so you look down through this league, and the coaches are just incredible. And certainly he's one of the best coaches, most successful coaches in the history of college basketball. And he's right here still doing it. It's pretty great. Kansas will be shorthanded tomorrow. They don't have Kevin McCuller, their leading scorer, 19 points a game for him. He's out with a bone bruise in his knee, but they didn't have any issues against Texas over the weekend. Nick Timberlake, a transfer from Towson, he's got 94 career starts. He'll likely start against BYU. Good athlete. He had a huge alley-oop dunk over Dylan DeSue on Saturday. Kansas, though, is not deep, Matt, and if you can get Hunter Dickinson, maybe two quick fouls, that could be a game changer because Dickinson is the star of this group with McCuller out. That should be the scattering report. Just attack the rim, which that might not bode well because, look, it's no secret on the show. I think the Big 12 officiating is a joke. I think it's really <laughs> poor to, to be the supposed best league in college basketball and have such poor officiating. It's inexcusable and it needs to be fixed. But, man, if you could get him in trouble, that would be a massive advantage. It'll be really interesting to see how this BYU team attacks Kansas. Cannot wait, Mitch. It's going to be so fun, and have a great time at Allen Fieldhouse. I cannot wait. Hopefully Cougar Nation is there and making their presence felt inside Allen Fieldhouse. I know it's going to be a sellout, but there were some tickets available a couple days ago. Hopefully Cougar Nation gobbled those tickets up. So we'll talk to you uh, later this Saturday on Cougar Sports. Saturday then, I'll be inside Allen Fieldhouse with all the coverage from BYU and Kansas here on KSL News Radio.